beginning with the Weather Channel's Mike Seidel. He's just outside of Buffalo, New York this morning. Mike, good morning. Hey, good morning, Savannah. Here in Buffalo, they picked up 11 inches of snow overnight. That has ended their snow drought for now. Now, keep in mind, this city averages eight feet a season, but they'd only had about a half a foot until late yesterday. Snow, high winds, dangerous driving conditions, all part of the powerful winter storm hitting the Northeast this morning. In the suburbs of New York City, where they're still struggling in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, it's becoming enough is enough now. Yeah, yeah, it's becoming a, a little bit too much. And residents of hard-hit New Jersey were once again busy stocking up on supplies. By Wednesday night, the heavy snow in Connecticut reduced visibility and blanketed the roads. A bit slippery, especially when you're going down the hills. A similar scene in Massachusetts, where drivers were taking it extra slow. The storm is also causing headaches at the nation's airports. Over 1,700 flights were canceled on Wednesday, stranding passengers trying to get home after the Christmas holiday. Before moving into the Northeast, the weather system pounded parts of the Midwest, dumping over a foot of snow in some areas and spawning 26 tornadoes in the South, including this one caught on surveillance tape at a Walgreens in Mobile, Alabama. In Ohio and Kentucky, local and state authorities were on the scene at dozens of accidents. In Arkansas, thousands were left without power after the storm dumped over 15 inches in part of the state. Little Rock saw its snowiest Christmas ever. It's beautiful out here, but it's just too cold and the power's out, and I don't like it when the power's out. I'm from Iowa originally, and I moved here about 30 years ago to get away from this. Overnight, the Jersey Shore got hit by hurricane-force wind gusts. Several thousand customers without power this morning, and Brick Township had to close their part of the barrier island because of flooding and high winds. Meanwhile, early this morning in New York City, they had a rare thunderstorm. Thunder rumbled through midtown Manhattan. Doesn't happen very often right after Christmas. Willie, back to you in the studio. Mike, a lot of us heard that thunder this morning here in New York City. Mike Seidel, thanks so much.